right. Coach Petrino joins us now. And uh, well, Coach, we'll let you start off with a couple of opening uh, comments on the game and open it up for questions. Yeah, a real disappointing loss for us. You know, I really felt like uh, in the first half we, we played well. We were physical. I was really excited about our ability to get the run game going. And, and we are rushing for almost 150 yards in the first half. I felt good about it. Um, we still turned the ball over and gave them, gave them a touchdown. Um, but found a way to go into halftime with the lead. Uh, and then the second half was just a big different story offensively. We, we didn't control the line of scrimmage. We got pressured. Quarterbacks didn't take care of the ball. And uh, you know, we had a lot of errant snaps that really hurt us a lot. It's hard to play quarterback when you're bending over to catch the ball down on the ground. So, um, but overall, you know, we, we got great experience in the three games that we played and getting to know our, our players. And I really feel like we're a really good defensive football team. You know, I feel like we put them in really bad positions, but they can get after the quarterback. We defend the run well most of the time. Uh, we did give up one, one big play that really hurt us. And, um, but I think, I think we can be a really good defensive football team. We got to catch up offensively and, be able to sustain drives and put it in the end zone and, you know, score more points. Coach, do you leave this, these three games encouraged by what you've seen? Uh, tonight was a, there's a lot of struggles tonight offensively, especially, but where are you kind of at with the progress you've seen in your first three games? Yeah, we've made a lot of progress and it's great to be able to have the games because now we know our players, you know, we know their strengths, we know their weaknesses. We know what we really need to work on here uh, before February 20th uh, individually, you know, each guy. Um, and then obviously offensively, we got to work on consistency and being able to run the ball like we did in the first half and, and being able to not get negative plays and, and, you know, convert third downs in the second half. The second half of both games really hurt us. Uh, their defense is good, though. I'm not taking anything away from them. They have a great defensive front. They're very, very experienced. Most all those guys on their defense uh, played and started for them last year when they went to the playoffs. So it's a, it was a great challenge, but I thought we matched it in the first half, and then we just weren't able to get it done in the second. What, kind of, what went into – what's kind of the thought process on uh, taking Jaden out there in the second quarter and bringing in Jake? Yeah, I think he needed a break, you know, to have the interception for a touchdown and then the fumble. I think he needed to just get a get a break. And um, we really like Jake. We have a lot of confidence in him. He can really spin the ball. He, he does a lot of things really good at practice. Um, he's still learning, obviously. Uh, but I thought he gave us some momentum and, and made some really good throws and you know, allowed us to, to run the football. And, and, you know, Jerry ran one in for a touchdown that was really nice. And uh, another drive that took us right back to, to get a field goal right before half. Um, and then it, he didn't quite have the time and, and the protection. And we couldn't run the ball like we did in the first half. And, and that hurt his performance in the second. And that's another thing, just him being so young, uh, just a few games into his college career and, um, just didn't have uh, didn't have the preseason like most fr freshman quarterbacks have. Just uh, where do you where do you see his progress right now? Um, I don't know if you say he took a step back tonight. Just kind of where are you at with him? Yeah, I don't feel like he took a step back at all. I thought, you know his ability to come in and drive the team and get us in the end zone for a touchdown and get us a field goal right before half. You know we like I said we all have a lot of confidence in him. He did miss a lot in the. Um, preseason part of it, you know, when uh, he was out for a while um, in quarantine and, and not practicing. And um, so he's done a really nice job and he, he's a great competitor. He's got an unbelievable release and, and can really spin the ball. I think it'll give us great competition here, um, getting ready for, for the opener on February 20th between him and Jaden, two freshmen, you know, it's, it's, learning pains and growing pains playing with the freshman. So you liked what you saw from Jake tonight as well. You left, he got a couple touchdowns or got two scoring drives when he came in, just uh, and you say good competition. So I guess that's open now. Yeah, I think that they need to compete for it. Uh, I don't think there's any question about that, that they need to compete for it in, in the spring and they'll make each other better. 
Uh, you, you said that not having some of that offensive preseason stuff kind of played into some of the struggles. Just hey, you've coached for a while. You've coached all good offenses before. Just having this preseason you've had leading up to an Oklahoma game and then a few weeks off to Central Arkansas and another Central Arkansas, just how much were you not able to kind of install there those first uh, so far right now? Well, what we're excited about is that we were able to get those practices in and play in the games and get ready for our spring season, which is what really, you know, counts. And um, if we would have just not had the games and not had all the practice that we had, it'd be, it'd be really scary going into spring. But we should see a lot of improvement. We'll see improvement running the ball. We'll see improvement on our play action game. Um, we'll see improvement in, in our passing game. And and take care of the football. We've got to learn to really take care of the football and, and make it important. And and we're not going to win games turning the ball over. And, and you turn the ball over six times and you still lose by nine. You lose only by nine. Like you're still within striking distance if you're able to score on one of those final drives. You, you find anything encouraging from that as weird as that sounds? Well, I still believe that we would win the game in the fourth quarter there. I thought we, you know, we, we got two great punts set them back and we got the ball in good position. I really felt like we could go down, drive it and, and get it in the end zone and find a way to win the game. But, uh, you know, the turnovers killed us, but our guys competed extremely hard and we showed some explosiveness on offense, which was good to see. And having Jeremiah uh, available today, I mean, over a hundred yards in his first game back from an ACL tear, um, just had to be, feel great to get him back. And he's, he's a talented back. Yeah, really proud of him. You know, it's, it's no question that it was it was hard on on him getting prepared for the game. Um, you know, he came out and and when you get cleared and you're coming off a knee, there's always some doubt. And he just kept working at it, and getting better, and worked the second week and, and got better. We did a little bit of live tackle, and um, he was cautious at first, and then the next time he was really good. Um, and then he pretty much put it in his mind that he was going to get himself prepared to play uh, this week in practice for, for tonight. And, you know, you can see he has a lot of special traits, his vision, his ability to cut, and then that breakaway speed, which I'm, I'm going to be excited to see. And, and you bring up how encouraged you are by the defense. Um, ever since the second half of that Oklahoma game, it seems like you got, they're just really good, a really, really big turnaround here. You have to feel really good about that going forward. I really do. I think that, you know, we're physical up front. And we gave up a couple edges, which I'm not happy about, but um, it was because we were being aggressive. Uh, I think we got two really good edge rushers in, in Ellis and Sales that can really make plays for us on the edge. Our linebackers have great instincts and in tackling really well, and, and we can cover in the secondary. So we've got to get where we don't put them in bad positions and make teams drive the ball. And, you know, I, I'm excited the way we punted the ball in the second half because I think that will play into us being a better team when we make teams have to drive long ways to score. Just these next 18 weeks leading up to a weird spring season, just kind of how do you think that's going to go? And just how do you plan for something like this? Yeah, well, the first thing we got to do is, is give them two weeks off. So they got two weeks off. That was kind of a – a rule that they threw in on us in the uh, middle of the, the fall season, I guess you would say. And they came out and made a rule that you could play 11 games within 13 weeks. Um, so we got a waiver because of, of when our games were played here in the fall. Uh, but the part of the, the waiver has to do with giving them a two weeks off here. And they need it anyway. You know, these guys, I'm really proud of them. They've, they've really been through a lot. They put a lot of dedication and hard work into it. There's times when, you know, we'd get a positive test and every single coach and player would go, oh, my God, how are we going to get through this? Um, and they just stuck together, worked hard, overcame a lot. And, uh, you know, I, I am very, very proud of the football team. We just got to learn how to win. And just kind of what goes into learning how to win. I mean, it's something that, of course, I keep saying, Missouri State hasn't done that a lot around here. And most of the players you took over, uh, haven't done that much either. Just what, how how do you do that? Well, I feel like our preparation, is, is we've made great strides in that. You know, we know how to go about practice. We know how to focus and, and get ready for a game. And 
and emotionally get ready for a game and come out and, and compete hard. Um, we can't turn the ball over. That's huge offensively is turning the ball over. And that, you know, you could pretty much say that cost us both games. Um, cost us an opportunity to win both games. I'll put it that way because anytime you look at games, you watch and there's sometimes 20 plays that any one of those 20 plays could have made the difference, you know. So it's not just the turnovers, but that's a big part of it. And, um, and we got to be able to protect the quarterback and, and uh, not get, you know, negative plays. We, we do those three, two things tonight. Um, we probably have a victory. One of those uh, edge rushers that Coach was just talking about is Kevin Ellis, and he joins us now. Kevin, uh, obviously a good night for the defense. Maybe what your observations were there on the trenches. Uh, I just feel like we, we, we stick together and we can just play hard. We control we can control. That's all we can do. You got to feel great about just kind of what your defense has done. Ever since that second half of the Oklahoma game, you guys have looked great. Just how, how are you guys feeling right now? Uh, I mean, we still got a lot of work to do. I mean, we, we can't be too proud because obviously we lost. So we just uh, got to keep getting better. That's all we can do. And you say keep getting better when you guys have looked really good. Uh, just uh, how, how good can you be? How good do you guys have it in your mind right now? Uh, we, got a, we got a lot of stuff we can fix. Little, little mental areas, little, you know what I'm saying, little technique areas we can fix. I mean, we got a lot to work on. It looked good, but we still got a lot to work on. And you, there were some encouraging signs throughout these three week, three games. Um, you, how, how do you take that into just kind of an 18 week hiatus right now before your next game? Uh, I just try to encourage my guys, you know, I just try to be that voice, be that leader for them. I mean, they look up to me, so I, I got to feel that role for them. Just take me through a little bit of the turnaround right now. I mean, I'm sure you could admit that you guys haven't been real good in years past defensively and just kind of seeing the fruits of your labor just kind of paying off right now um, and, and being a good unit. Uh, just uh, just how, how has that kind of felt for you guys uh, on defensively? I mean, it feels good. I mean, uh, I feel like guys learning how to play as a team. We learning how to be a family. We can't, we don't let nothing outside get in between us. We, we, we keep our head down and we go to work every day. How hard has this been as a as a football player? Uh, just uh, COVID and everything, having to be responsible and everything. Just three football games, getting tested all the time. Just, uh, uh, yeah, I mean, I, it's definitely it's not easy. It's not for everybody, but I mean, it's part of the game right now. It's part of what's what's going on in the world right now. It's just part of what we got to do, and we just control. What we can control. You really see that as part of the game, just trying to avoid a virus and everything? Well, just I mean, yep, that's how I look at it. It's part of the game right now. Yeah, just uh, what, what's kind of your plans for these next uh, 18 weeks? It's like 18 bye weeks until week four of the season. It's just uh, kind of a funny ring to it. Uh, my, my plan is to keep working, keep trying to get better, find something to work on. I mean, we all got something we can work on. Just find that and keep working. All right, Jeremiah, second up. Jeremiah, how are you? Good. All right. Congrats on your 100-yard rushing night. It's the first bear to do that in uh, years, uh, 25 months since we had a 100-yard rusher. So congrats on that. Congrats on your return. Last time we saw you on the field was at Illinois State last year, and it's great to see you back. Appreciate you. All right. Tell me what you saw in the backfield tonight. Um, I mean, uh, uh, the holes that I did have, the O-line, it was making no holes. I just had to hit it, and I was hitting it. Um, I feel like I got a lot of work to do, though. Not a lot to work on. I think I was a little timid out there, but I don't know. The O-line was getting some push. Scott, it had to feel great for you. Uh, Coach Petrino touched on how hard you've been working to get back out there, but uh, just to be able to be back on the field tonight, how was that for you? Uh, it felt good to be back. I feel like um, it's a lot that I got to improve on. So I'm not really happy with the performance. It's like I could have went crazy, but um, I just got to get back in the lab and keep grinding. Y'all gonna see me in the spring. Just the, you're coming off back-to-back -back ACL tears and you've kind of shown what you can do in spurts there. We see how good you can be. Um, we, sh we saw some of that tonight as well. Just uh, how hard has that been for you? How hard has it been just going in and out of uh, recovering from an ACL tear? 
it was the hard. It's, it, it was real hard. Probably the hardest thing I ever did. But I got through it. I'm glad that um, this game I ain't get injured, and I'm gonna be working hard for the spring. So, kind of, what is these next few? I mean, 18 weeks until your next football game. Um, uh, you you get a taste of it tonight, and now you gotta wait another 18 weeks. Uh, just uh, what what do you think you're gonna be able to do these next uh, till then? Um, feel right. I'm gonna get right. I'm gonna get stronger and faster. Uh, I'm just hungry, you know. I don't like losing. Like I could have, I could have did a lot more, but this is my first game back. I got a lot to prove. MSU hasn't had too much of a run game um, when you haven't been out there, and we saw a little bit of what it can be tonight. Uh, just how much are you looking forward to being able to contribute a little more uh, once we get back on the field? Um, well, I feel like we got great backs, but um, I don't know. I just. I feel like I can have a lot more than I can feel like I can have 100 yards in the first quarter. I mean, not in the first quarter, but in the first half. You know what I'm saying? I just, I feel like I got to do a lot more for my team. I could run harder. I don't know. When, when you see defensively how good they've been, um, just how frustrating is it when you guys aren't at that level yet? Um, when you feel like you can be with an offensive guy like Petrino coaching you as well? I mean, it's a team, it's a team effort, but. The defense is rocking. Defense is real good. Offense, like Coach Trino said, we just got to pick it up. We just um, got to, like, master the offense. That's it. Once we master the offense, it's over with. And you feel like you can do – you can try to get a hold of that these, this offseason? Mm -hmm. We got some we got some freshman um, quarterbacks. I know how that go. So, we got – you know what I'm saying? We got a lot of work to do. I got a lot of work to do, and everybody got a lot of work to do. And you see those mistakes from some of the freshman quarterbacks. You, you you just see that, oh, they're learning and they're growing and everything. You still have all the confidence in the world in those two. Yeah. Great. We got, we got two great quarterbacks. Cool. Three. We got a lot. We got, you know what I'm saying? We got some great yeah. quarterbacks. Yeah. Um, yeah. I think that's all I got for you, but I really appreciate you. Happy to see you out there. I've uh, been polling for you and uh, hope, can't wait to watch you in a few months. Yep. Check me out in the spring. I'm going to turn up on. Thanks, Jeremiah. I appreciate you. Sure. Yeah, have a good one. Yeah, right, you too. Thanks, guys. Yep, thanks, Rick.